a fish that goes hand in hand with trout cod uh, are Macquarie perch. And, uh, they're an amazing story. It is absolutely astounding that a fish that was so common that used to blacken rivers on its uh, spawning migrations that there were so many in the Jamison River one year they stopped the Jamison mail coach in the gold rush days that that fish is now uh, in danger of becoming extinct. In fact it might be in more trouble than uh, trout cod. The story with Macquarie perch is a little bit opposite to that of trout cod. The scientists in recent years have said well trout cod were principally a lowland fish and Macquarie perch principally an upland fish. And it's the same story, Macquarie perch hung on in some upland areas so it's been presumed that was their preferred habitat. And there's no doubt about it, the upland rivers like the Jamison or the upper Murrumbidgee above uh, uh, the ACT were uh, strongholds of Macquarie perch, but what came out in the history was they were abundant well downstream in the rivers, down to Echuca in the, the Murray River, uh, down to Narandra in the Murrumbidgee River, and there's many stories of them being very common in billabongs alongside the rivers. My conclusion on, on the historical distribution of Macquarie perch uh, basically parallels that of trout cod, that probably the ultimate habitat, at least in Victoria, was the slope zone. Very large, diverse rivers, but uh, excellent habitat, coarse gravel, but they certainly were abundant in the upland zone and in fact punched their way into montane habitats as well. So I think trout cod and Macquarie perch uh, were next door neighbours in most situations. They were found in the same sorts of habitats. And the interesting thing, one of the things I was pleased with uh, Macquarie Perch was I finally found an Aboriginal name for them, uh, Wanambiyu, uh, the Jujuroa people of the Upper Murray, that was their name for Macquarie Perch. And that's the only confirmed name I have for the species from Aboriginal people. Oh, we're just heading down to the banks of the Goulburn River at Tabilk. And uh, my first encounter with native fish was a couple of kilometres up the river from here. And that's where I remember Dad catching a 64-pound Murray cod and hanging it off a tree. And I thought, wow, what a big fish that was. It's a sojourn, a return to my roots coming back here with native fish. Murray Cod is an icon of the basin and what did we learn about Murray Cod from this project that we didn't already know? Well we learned a few things about uh, the sorts of places where Murray Cod were found. We always knew they were abundant in these uh, large inland rivers but uh, a lot of evidence was found that they were also abundant in the lagoons adjacent to the rivers. In fact uh, in some areas that's where uh, there was more cod caught out of the lagoons than the rivers themselves. Murray cod also uh, in New South Wales were abundant in the slopes type habitat upstream of the lowlands. In Victoria they were common, they usually weren't so abundant in the slopes in the rivers, that was the stronghold of trout cod. But Murray cod certainly did punch their way up to significant altitudes, so they were common in the, the Murrumbidgee near Canberra, they were fairly common in the Goulburn up to about Eildon, and upstream of those areas Murray cod declined in abundance. So, uh, what we can say for Murray cod overall is uh, they were the dominant cod species in the lowlands generally and in New South Wales were on a par with trout cod in the slope zone uh, but in Victoria slope zone uh, uh, trout cod were the dominant species of cod. There are so many stories of Murray Cod from the past. Uh, it's hard to pick out the, the ones that stand out. There's stories of Murray Cod attacking people, uh, attacking children, attacking horses. That's probably the best story. A horse that uh, 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 was fording a river and a, a 90 pound cod grabbed its legs. There's uh, good historical accounts of cod attacking other cod. Uh, the story of the two tailed uh, cod that was found floating in uh, the Queen Bean River near Canberra and uh, when people went down to investigate it, it was two cod, one was about 60 pound and one was about 70 pound 
and their jaws were locked. They were fighting with each other and uh, they couldn't let go. A good friend of mine, Rod Harrison, well-known uh, fishing writer, he once provided a definition of Murray Cod and he said, it eats anything and tolerates nothing. Another fish uh, found in the Seven Creeks is the river blackfish. And out of all the native fish, they are the ones found at the highest altitudes in Victoria, certainly uh, above the 1,000 metre mark. And blackfish are quite interesting. Uh, there's been an argument going on with them for years, just like trout cod and Macquarie perch and Murray cod, about there being more than one sort of species. And uh, blackfish south of the Great Dividing Range in Victoria grow to five kilos. The blackfish north of the Dividing Range, uh, anything over about a foot is a pretty big blackfish. And uh, back in the 1980s, Andrew Sanger from Melbourne University found there was two species in the Murray-Darling Basin, uh, the river blackfish and uh, the two-spine blackfish. But both seem to be quite different from the southern blackfish that grows to five kilos, so I think there's more work to be done with blackfish. The interesting story with blackfish is the scientific community have thought that they were largely a fish of the uplands and slopes rivers in New South Wales and Victoria. And like Macquarie Perch, a lot of historical evidence has turned up that they are actually in some lowland areas very common, uh, particularly in lagoons and creeks, not so much in the rivers. And uh, something I discovered after I wrote the book was uh, blackfish were common in uh, some of the lower lakes on the Lachlan River, something that I didn't know, which extends their distribution in the Lachlan catchment a lot further downstream. So in lowland areas, generally in the main channels of rivers, not that common, but in lagoons and creeks, very common. And they virtually disappeared from all of that habitat. So blackfish in lowland areas are severely endangered.